Today we're walking through the process of how an air conditioner works. If you know the different features and functions of what the components are doing, then you'll know why one has a benefit over the other. Now if your furnace is in a closet, it typically sits up on a platform and sucks air from underneath the furnace. The platform typically has a grill on the front or side of it where the air is pulled from the house into the furnace closet. If it's in the garage, the furnace or air handler will still sit on a platform, but the intake will be cut into the floor next to the furnace going up in through the attic, then into the home and the grill is typically in the ceiling. For this example, we're going to be showing a garage application. If your furnace or air handler is in the attic, just imagine this example laying on its side horizontally in the attic. If you have this application, you will know it because you have no unit in the garage or closet and your filter is typically in the ceiling. In each application, you are pulling air from underneath the furnace in through the system and then returning it back into the house. Let's say that it's winter time. The cold air that's in your home is being sucked in through the blower, goes over the heat exchanger heated up by the gas burners, and it warms up the air. The air now goes through the ductwork and comes through the supply registers back into the home. To make it easy, fire makes air hot. It's pretty simple. We're using the laws of thermodynamics. The first law is energy is never created or destroyed. It only changes forms. A great example of this law is the sun's energy coming down to earth, hitting plants and causing those plants to grow with its energy through photosynthesis. In a furnace, the energy from the combustible gas turning into fire then hits the metal in the heat exchanger and the air from your home is flowing over that metal where the heat is transferred into it. So the furnace is pretty simple. In the winter time, the blower is sucking cold air from the house into the furnace over the gas burners warming the air up and returning it back into the house. Now if it's summertime, obviously the air in your house is going to be hot if the air conditioner is not running. We're going to take that same furnace or air handler we were pulling the cold air in with and we're going to use that blower to pull the hot air in in the summertime. The heat in the air is held by the particulates. Sometimes that's the moisture in the air or other things, nitrogen, oxygen, whatever's in the air. So we have hot wet air passing through the filter. The filter cleans the air so that the dirt doesn't build up on the evaporative coil that sits above the furnace. The evaporative coil has pipes that go back and forth all through it and the substance inside those pipes is extremely cold. In fact, most refrigerants are so cold that they boil at only 40 degrees. So now we're taking the energy from the hot molecules in the air, sucking it over the evaporative coil, which takes the heat right out of it and absorbs it into the refrigerant lines. Now the air molecules continue on into the supply duct, past your registers, back into the house. Those molecules now have a reduced amount of energy or heat that are in them and it feels cold. There's really no such thing as cold. It's just energy or no energy. Okay, let's go back to the evaporative coil. Now we've absorbed all this heat into the refrigerant lines and you've got to get rid of it somehow. If you don't, you've got hot air going over hot coils and nothing's going to happen. As more and more heat is absorbed into the evaporative coil, it expands. By the time it gets all the way to the end of the piping, it's ready to go outside as a fully evaporated gas. As it travels outside, it's going to something called a condenser. This typically sits on the ground, sometimes it's placed on the roof. So the easiest way to remember these items is that in the evaporative coil, the refrigerant is evaporating. And as the refrigerant goes outside, the heat is removed in the condenser and the refrigerant, that's right, you guessed it, condenses. So to break it down, in the evaporative coil, the system is absorbing heat and the refrigerant evaporates. At the condenser, heat is being removed and the refrigerant condenses. So now let's talk about the condensing unit. Inside the condensing unit is the compressor. It's the heart of the whole system, compressing the refrigerant, but also sending it back and forth from the inside portion to the outside. The compressor is taking a low pressure hot gas with all the heat from your house, compressing it into a very tight space so that it gets hotter. And now the outside air, even though it can be 100 degrees, is going over the really hot coils, exhausting that heat outside. 
The thing that's pulling the outside air over the hot condenser coils is called a condenser fan. Just imagine your house is a canoe with a hole in it and your air conditioner is your bucket. You're trying to bail out the heat or water faster than it can come in through your walls and windows, ceilings. You're taking all that heat, throwing it back outside faster than it can come in so you can stay comfortable. 